This clip will demonstrate how to change a relay configuration. To make changes to a relay credentials, you need to be logged in as an installer. To log into the panel as an installer, press F4 to select the main menu. Using the jog dial button, turn the dial and select a user which has the installer credentials. Now press the jog dial button to scroll down to the password option. Using the jog dial button, select the correct password for the user. To do this simply turn the jog dial button to select the correct number, and by pressing the jog dial button will move the cursor to the next digit. Now press the jog dial button or F4 to enter into the installer menu. Press the jog dial button to select field setup. Turn the jog dial button and select loop device config, then press the jog dial button. Select the loop number of the device that you want to change its credentials. For this example, I will select a device on loop number 1. Now turn the jog dial button until you find the relay that you want to configure, then press the jog dial button. Press F3 or press the jog dial button to select next. You can now change the relay operating mode. The default setting is PRG which stands for programmable. As default, all relays OP mode is set to PRG. When using this option, if the relay activates, it will only deactivate after the panel has been reset. The next option is EXTIN which stands for extinguishing. This OP mode is used for extinguishing device outputs. The next option is ALARM. If the relay is configured using this option, then the relay will be active if the alarm LED is on. The next option is fault. If the relay is configured using this option, then the relay will be active if the fault LED is on. The next option is test. If the relay is configured using this option, then the relay will be active if the test LED is on. The next option is DIS which stands for disable. If the relay is configured using this option, then the relay will be active if the disable LED is on. The next option is SND. When using this option, if the relay activates, pressing the sounder start stop button will deactivate the relay. Now press F3 to select next, or press the jog dial button to move the cursor to group N, which stands for group number. As default, all relays are assigned to group number 301. If extra programmable output groups has been added to the panel, you can change the group. Please be aware that you can only create extra groups on the panel by using the configuration utility software. Once you have finished changing the group number, press F3 twice to select next to move the cursor to the device message. Now you can change the device message by using the jog dial button. Pressing the button will move the cursor one step over to the right. Once you have finished changing the device message, press F3 to select next to move the cursor to UKSB option. UKSB stands for UK School Bells or Class Change. If your device has UKSB selected, then the device will activate if a UKSB input device is activated. This option can be changed by simply turning the jog dial button. The next options are not covered in this guide. To learn more about these options, contact your local sales office for more information on full product training. Once you have finished changing your device configuration, press F4 to select Enter, then press F1 to select Back. Now to complete the process, simply press F2 to select Exit and now press F3 to apply your new configuration.